Well, I uh, finally got two days of very heavy duty business out of the way. I'm gonna get back on the clay today, finally. <coughs> I'm gonna see how far I can get. Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm going to start adding muscle to the uh, horse, and uh, I'm not going to show it all, uh, only because I have uh, a lot of this covered in a couple of my uh, instructional videos on how to sculpt and uh, a horse, and uh, I'm just not going to give it for free here, but I will do as much as I can and uh, still show you what's going on. All right, I'll be back. All right, I just wanted to pop in here, uh, take a little break from the uh, sculpting, and uh, ask you to take a look at the nine instructional videos I have available for uh, teaching you how to sculpt and, and giving you some of the uh, little shortcuts and hacks that I've been able to come up with over the last uh, 50 years or more. And uh, I've got nine videos and they're all listed on a, a uh, blog page with a review of each one of the videos so you can choose what you want. Um, I'd appreciate it. Now let's get back to sculpting. I'm just blocking in the um, uh, muscles. I'm not worried about every detail of uh, tendons because I want to keep this loose and I'm doing this for the first time with any of my sculptures. I mean, actually, I did one with a piece called uh, Dance of Dreams. It was a, years ago. It was a ghost dance piece that I did. And I didn't care about detail of, of body parts and, and things like that. And uh, in fact, I've d done one similar recently. And I really enjoy doing that. But... Uh, Sorry. Never mind. Canceling. Anyway. You gotta watch what you say when you're around these uh, voice activated devices in your house because you never know when you're gonna turn them on.
They're helpful though. But anyway, I'm just uh, blocking in the muscles, as I said before, and uh, I've uh, set my anatomical horse on a fondue stick, <laughs> and uh, so I can turn it around easily on this piece of foam, and I can look at both sides of it. I'm going to work on both sides at the same time. That way I can keep them both balanced. I wish I had this on a tilting table. Maybe I'll have to build one. Because I can't see. Okay, I'll just adjust the light, I guess. That's the elbow of the uh, horse's leg, just like your elbow. I'm just rough sketching in the ears, and I'll come back and fine-tune them later. I'm just trying to get the feel of what's going on here. Wish the clay was a little softer, but it's cold in here. I've tried to run the heater when I'm not talking, or and uh, so you aren't not irritated by the sound of that. I'm just quickly checking the proportions to make sure everything is the way it should be. The length between the top of the head and the point of the shoulder should be equal to the point of the shoulder to the point of the hip. And that it works out just beautifully. I'm happy. I'm just indicating ribs. I don't normally do that, but I figure as long as I'm doing this like, like I am, why not? It just adds character to the uh, sculpture and also some anatomy. Now the horse has a chest muscle, just like humans. It's just a different configuration, that's all. And... Uh, that's what I'm putting on here is the mus chest muscle. 
But again, I'm not over detailing it. I'm just checking the width of my rib cage on this side with the width of the rib cage on this side and it worked out just fine. Okay. And I have to, I wonder if I can raise this up. No, it's up as far as it's going to go. I may have to reposition this horse armature. So I can get it a little higher than what I've got it. All right, I'm uh, going to have to call it quits. I spent precious time this afternoon building this little thing here. It's a simple little box, but I had to find the wood for it, and I had to go out and saw it, and then I had to figure out what I was going to do and uh, all that stuff. So it's... Uh, raised this uh, sculpture up to a level that I can see a lot better under here and uh, I can see fine here but when you got something that's under you have to be able to see up and uh, now I can do that um, anyway that's as uh, far as I'm going to get today I'll get the uh, Probably, but I could finish this one horse tomorrow if I really get down here early enough. I just I depended on what I got to do tomorrow. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. Thank you so much for watching my video. Remember to uh, like and subscribe and ring that bell so you can keep updated on my videos. All right, good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.